Welcome to Game Logs, where I give my own hot takes on the games I play. It serves primarily as a review, but more so a catalog to the games I've been picking up along the way. This will be the first video of the series, and it will feature Young Souls. Young Souls is a side scroller beat em up created by developer 1P2P. Played on the Xbox Game Pass, but the current price of the game sits at $24.99 on Steam. I started the game off on Expert, and I found the difficulty to be pretty satisfying overall with just enough challenge to keep me entertained, but not enough to have me drop the game for a breather. I finished the game to 100% completion. It took about 20 to 30 hours, with about half of that time being wasted on me being stubborn on a certain fight or two. I would guess that on a normal difficulty and without clearing the side stuff, you might get through in about 10 to 15 hours. Gameplay is separated into a hub phase and then a combat phase. While in the hub, you deal with your RPG elements such as leveling up and refining your equipment. This is also where you get the story bits of the game through NPC dialogues. Admittedly, the leveling system of the game is the biggest pain point where you have to complete a mini game in order to get some extra stat points. The mini games are unforgiving and it's hard to achieve the max stat, but at the end of it all, the stats aren't really that important as you do just fine even gaining the bare minimum. The combat phases are pretty much the same throughout the whole game, following a certain cadence of attack and defense. You can attack, you can charge attack, and you can special attack. For defense, you can roll, you can block, and you can parry. In Young Souls, you practically have a freedom of expression in the way you play, except for some enemy types that force you to parry them before you being able to damage them. The game offers four regions to go through, each with a different theme. As the twins progress, you are able to find different weapons and armors to resonate with your playstyle. If you complete all of the side quests of the game, the end of the game will no doubt feel very trivial. In a meta sense, the motif fits pretty well into the story. The story itself is one that is very basic, but offers some food for thought. It follows the twins Jen and Tristan in their attempt to rescue the Professor, their adopted father who is kidnapped by goblins. It is a coming of age story about acceptance as the twins discover the secrets of the town and are ultimately murdering a small population of goblins in order to save a town that has shunned them their entire lives. Overall, playing Young Souls was a treat. The unique and beautiful art styles along with the endearing main characters kept me glued until the end. The shorter playtime was just right and gave the player ample time to appreciate the story and then move on. I feel anything else added to the game would just cheapen its value. With that being said, I would give this game an 8 out of 10. That concludes this game log. Till next time.